Hi guys, my name's Emma and let's talk spooky stuff. Because so many of you guys are big fans of foreign horror film like me and you really liked my horror around the world series, I thought I'd give you a wrap up of foreign films from 2018 that might have gone under your radar. But first, a disclaimer on this, a lot of these films were released in film festivals during 2017, but they didn't make it to the mass audiences or VOD or really cinema releases until 2018. So I wanted to include that in here, but I know that all of you guys will be using this as a list to kind of tick off what you have and what you haven't seen, so I thought that that's okay. So without further ado, let's get into the first film, and in no particular order, let's start with Terrified. Terrified is about a small, normal neighborhood experiencing an extraordinary haunting. And when things get out of hand, the police have to step in. The film uses practical effects that are both unique and unnerving. It's a strange movie that promises major scares. I actually have a full review on this one if you'd like to check it out. Filmed in Quebec, Ravenous was released to the world in March 2018. The film is the age-old zombie outbreak film, but this time with a twist. It centers around several characters with their stories intertwining, but the details are odd and curious. It's a beautiful slow movie that is elevated by its cinematography, and you can watch this film on Netflix in most countries. Tip, there is a bonus scene after the credits. 2018 didn't bring a lot of Asian horror films, but many of you guys suggested South Korean found footage film Gonjiam Haunted Asylum. I hope I said that right. I have to say that this film didn't exactly blow me away, but I received an influx of messages from you guys saying you were scared out of your wits. In this one, creators of a horror web series travel to an abandoned, potentially haunted asylum to livestream the madness. And as expected, things go downhill quickly. The Ritual is another film from late 2017 that wasn't available to most audiences until February 2018. I also have a full review on this one. This is a UK production that was filmed in Romania. Based on a novel, the film is about a group of old college friends who reunite for a trip into the forest. And of course, everything turns very dark and ominous when a presence starts to stalk them. Another UK film that didn't make it to audiences by its release date is Ghost Stories, which was released in most cinemas last April. Ghost Stories starring Martin Freeman and Andy Nyman is based on the famous West End play. The film is about about a skeptical professor who listens to three unexplainable cases of the paranormal. This film really floored me. It's one you need to watch to the end to fully understand the impact. Oh, you guys didn't think I was gonna do a list and try and not claim this one. Upgrade was written and directed by Ozzy Lee Wanell and it was filmed in Melbourne. Actually filmed where I'm recording this right now at the Docklands in Melbourne. It stars Logan Marshall Green, a man who becomes paralyzed after a brutal accident. He is then given the chance to regain his movement when a chip is implanted into his body. Some of you guys kept telling me that Upgrade is not a horror film. Number one, this film was more terrifying and shocking than a lot of other horror films for 2018. Number two, I will put this film on any list I can to encourage more people to watch it because it was the best surprise of 2018 for me. And number three, Lee Wanell is a horror king and he is an Australian national treasure and it is my duty to put him in here. <laughs> Thank you. Next. Another one that made my best horror of 2018 list is What Keeps You Alive, a Canadian horror thriller set in a beautiful backdrop. The film is about a couple who attempt to celebrate their one year anniversary, but their plans are shattered when their true forms show. I also have to keep things a little spooky and weird around here, so Possum gets a place on this list. Possum is a UK fever dream that promises to leave you haunted and also a little violated. The film is about a puppeteer who returns to his childhood home to reveal suppressed secrets. People have been praising the slow moving nightmare and I can confirm it leaves you with a creepy feeling that you just can't shake. I hope you guys enjoyed this list. Let me know what your favorite foreign horror film of 2018 was down below. Let me know any I've missed. I'd love to check them out. I know I didn't see them all. So I'm very excited to see what you guys have to say. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do. It's free. <laughs> Button down there. And I'll talk to you guys very soon. Stay spooky.